Welcome back to another installment of Kayla recreates healthy TikTok snacks and then shares her thoughts. So let's go. I think this is the sixth or the seventh video I've done like this, where I find healthy TikTok snacks as I'm late night scrolling, and then I'm like, ooh, those look good, and I recreate them. Some of them have been amazing, others not so much. So we'll see how today goes. We're gonna start things off pretty easy. Now I'm gonna say out of all of the TikTok recipe videos I've done so far, I think this episode, all of these recipes are actually super simple and quick, so I have high hopes. First recipe are bagel bites. Now. I'm a big fan of bagels. My favorite kind of bagel personally is an everything bagel. It's just so special to me, it has so much flavor. If you don't like an everything bagel, I don't know if I trust you. But this is literally two ingredients, minus the seasoning that you put on, so I guess three technically. Um, Gluten-free all-purpose flour and some kind of Greek yogurt. I'm also gonna preheat my oven to 350. I've had a lot of good bagels in my life. I've also had a lot of not good bagels in my life. So I don't really know with just two ingredients how this is really gonna taste. I'm a little concerned because is this gonna rise? Don't you need something in flour to make it rise? I'll find out the hard way like I do in all my other cooking videos, it's okay. I have also never cooked with gluten-free flour, it's just that's what the TikTok recipe called for, so we'll be following the rules. Shocker, I know. This is gonna get everywhere. <laughs> it's giving Kendall Jenner cutting a cucumber. Be careful, because I, I nicked myself the other day. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. I'm not professional whatsoever. Hey, chef, do you want to cut this up for her? All right, then we do a half a cup of Greek yogurt, and I remembered this time that there's a little one of these guys on top, because otherwise it usually always gets me. First of all, let me just, let's just, let's just call it, let's just call it how I see it. I don't think they're gonna rise, because I think you have to put something with flour to make it rise, and I think they're gonna have a weird taste. That's what I'm gonna call right now. I don't know why I measured that when this was a half cup, but alas. And now we mix. Oh, now she's a dough. Okay, okay, you just gotta trust the process, you know? I stand corrected, got a little too premature and judgy, but there we go, we got a nice, nice little dough. Next up, I'm gonna roll these into little balls. The texture, very much like Play-Doh right now. I will say these also formed a lot easier than some of the other doughs I've made. So like when I made the homemade peanut butter and jelly sandwich, that was like real sticky, real doughy. This was not too bad actually. Now I'm using the everything with the bagel seasoning to season the little bagel bites. I'm just gonna like roll, roll them in here. Get them nice and coated. Here are the little bagel bites. They're going in the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. We're gonna start with 10 and then we'll check it out. Goodbye, little bagel bites. Okay, next two snacks both involve using the air fryer. So I'm gonna prep them both and then I will cook them off camera because the air fryer is self-explanatory. Put it in, turn it on, and move on. So the first one are carrot fries. This is how I store my carrots. Looks a little crazy, but I swear keeps them fresher longer and don't judge me. Here's the thing. I am not a fan of steamed carrots. I love a raw carrot. I love a little carrot, some ranch. Steamed carrot, absolutely despise. There's just something about certain fruits and vegetables being warm that I just, it makes me gag a little bit, I'll be honest. For example, here's an unpopular opinion that I have. I do not like pie. I know, I'm a pie hater. Something about warm fruit, I just, mm, mm And then it's like the crust is like not good. I just, mm. In my opinion that nobody asked for, I just don't think fruit should ever be served warm. Like a warm, soft apple. No. It's a no for me, dog. It's definitely a no for me, dog. Let me know if you have unpopular food opinions because I want to make sure I'm not alone in this world. There's got to be other pie haters out there. It can't just be me. Ah! Every time I cook, I try so carefully to like tuck my fingers and... <laughs> the whole trend of like turning vegetables into fries, like zucchini fries, avocado fries, I'm like, listen. The potato is already the perfect vegetable to make fries. What are we doing? Some things we just don't need to substitute, all right? French fries, I'm gonna say one, one of those things. So I'm just gonna oil them a little bit with some olive oil spray. We're gonna do a little bit of garlic salt, some onion powder. Listen, what's wrong with my onion powder? Can anyone tell me why my onion powder is 
hard. I don't know why there's clumps in there. Wait a damn minute. Can you see that? There is like a giant clump. Like it's not breaking up, it's just, Okay, you know what, we're, we're done with that. And a little bit of chili powder just for a little pizzazz. Okay, we're making predictions on all the snacks. We talked about the little bagel bites. The fries, I'm gonna guess that they're gonna taste like glorified steamed carrots, I'm calling it. I just don't see the, how these are gonna get crunchy. And I know damn well that they're not gonna taste like a regular french fry. All right, here's what they look like all seasoned and everything. I'm gonna set these aside. We're gonna get to making the next snack, and then at the end, I'm throwing these in the air fryer. These are gonna go in the air fryer 400 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes. My smoke alarm is definitely gonna go off. Before we go to the next recipe, a little update on the bagel bites. They've been in there for about 15 minutes when the recipe only said 10 to 12, and they're like not cooking. Like they're still doughy and just as raw almost as when I put them in 15 minutes ago, so I don't really know what's happening. I'm just gonna keep putting the timer on for like two minutes at a time and see what happens. But I wanted to give you that little update. <laughs> Next up is a recipe that I don't even know really if it even counts as a recipe because I feel like a recipe involves multiple steps, a lot of work. I'm literally slicing a banana and putting cinnamon. Like another super easy thing. I feel like this whole video is just the easiest recipes I've made. Again, if you even count it as recipe. Allegedly, we can make banana chips in an air fryer. So yeah, also a little concerned because another fruit that should never, under any circumstances, be warm or crunchy. I, oh, a banana chip? Not my favorite. No, I would like my banana how God intended it to be, right out of the peel. But this is why I wanted to try the recipe because I'm down to try anything, okay? But I'm pretty sure when you are making banana chips that they go in a dehydrator. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. Again, doing a little thin slice here on the banana because I want them to be as chip-like as possible. Although I predict that these are going to burn or they're just going to get like chewy. Gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. You could probably do other seasoning if you wanted to. Is cinnamon considered a seasoning or spice? What's actually the difference? But well, we're gonna learn today. We learned the difference between jam and jelly. We're gonna learn the difference between seasoning and spice. A spice is a vegetation product that has an aromatic or pungent to the taste quality which is used for flavoring while cooking. On the other hand, a seasoning is a mixture of several flavoring components such as sugars, salts, and spices. Wow, a vegetation product. So I think that makes cinnamon a spice, right? I don't know. See, these aren't coating well. I'm shaking this bowl around and they're sticking to the bowl. Nothing is happening. Okay, we're done. Air fryer, off camera, on to the next recipe. Let's check on the bagel bites. Why aren't you cooking? Let me show you guys right now. This is dough. They're just gonna keep cooking. I'm probably the most excited for this recipe because I've seen it on TikTok like a million times. It has a lot of views and this one I actually have high hopes for, but this is the rice paper, like sour candy straws. We're going all out, okay? So I'm gonna fill this plate with a little bit of water. And then we're gonna do the juice of one lime. Let's cut up some fruit. I'm gonna do two blueberry and two strawberry ones. Looks pretty good. We'll start with the strawberry ones first. So I'm just using rice paper. So I'm gonna cut them in half. So I'm gonna dip it in the water lime juice mixture. The thing with rice paper is you wanna dip it kind of fast because it gets really flimsy after that. Yeah, I usually always do too much water on my rice paper. So we're just gonna add a little bit of strawberries and then you just roll them. It's not going great. Strawberries are squeezing out of the side. Hers looked so pretty. This looks horrendous, but she's done. She's a little thick, but like, kinda looks like a fruit roll up, like a sad version of a fruit roll up, but nonetheless. All right, we're gonna do the next strawberry one. I'm gonna do a little less, like I'm gonna do a quick dip instead of like what I did earlier. I'm gonna do a little less filling and like th make it more thin. I think I added too many strawberries. You know what, I have more strawberries, we're gonna make more. All right, well, they look better when you put a little less in them. So I ended up making four strawberry ones. You can see that they got better with each attempt, but I'm gonna make some blueberry ones now. Okay, we had a battery change and also I finished my little straws and they've been sitting there for just a minute and now they're like super duper squishy and jelly-like. But now I'm going to 
roll them in sugar so they have that nice little outer coating. I'm gonna be using monk fruit sweetener sugar replacement just so they're a little bit healthier than regular sugar. And because I use the lime juice with the water, I feel like they're gonna have a little bit of that tartness to them. So we will see how this goes. Let's start with the big boy first. Obviously it coats very nicely because it's so sticky. I don't know, these look kinda good. And the texture, is, it's gummy, I wanna say. It has that nice gummy texture that like a sour straw would. Last one. And I think what I'm gonna do from here is let them chill in the fridge just a little bit. Okay, these kind of look amazing. Look at that. They look really good. Okay, these are going in the fridge and then we're on to the last recipe. The very last healthy TikTok recipe involves none other than some rice paper yet again. And apparently this is gonna be a healthier caramel popcorn rice paper kind of snack. Although I have a lot of questions because technically popcorn is already a relatively healthy, low calorie kind of snack. This I'm not so sure about. Yes, rice paper, very low calorie. You've got 50 calories for two sheets. However, we are going to fry these in oil and then put brown sugar over them and butter. So we're like upping the calories a little bit, but we're gonna try it out anyways. So this one, I'm just going to cut the rice paper into long sheets. We're gonna twirl them. We're gonna seal it in water and then into this little bowl. And then we're gonna make a caramel sauce. We're just gonna cut them in like little strips. So apparently these are gonna be like crunchy when you fry them. Again, if you guys have ever had like rice noodles, it's kind of the same thing when you fry a rice noodle. They just become like a crunchy little snack. I wonder if we could air, can you air fry these? Can you put rice paper in the air fryer? It already comes up as an option. Should we try it in the air fryer or should I follow the rules? They'll be following the rules, shocker, I know. You know what, I think I'm gonna use the recipe only because I have to cover them in like a caramel sauce and I really don't want my air fryer to get super sticky. So we're just gonna go with what the recipe calls for. So we take our little strips of rice paper. So you're just gonna roll them up, okay, like that. We're gonna just dip the ends in water just so they kind of like mold together. If I take my fingers off of it, it's going to unwind. How did she do this? Oh, ah! <laughs> Wait a second. All right, let's try this again. She just did one dip on one side. Oh yeah. Gonna give it a little massage. Okay, you just have to do it for like a minute. It's gonna take me a minute to roll all these, so I'll see you when these are done. All right, I've got my oil heating up right now. I would like to make a formal complaint though that it took me so long to make maybe like 10 of these things. It just took too long. Some of them got a little too much water on them, so they're kind of turning into that like sticky, gummy texture. I'm turning into a pessimist again. We're back. Okay, it's ready. I'm so scared right now. Ah, gotta move fast. Ah, ah, ah. Flip it. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's too much stress. That was quite possibly the scariest thing I've ever done. Anyways, here's what these little rice ricey bad boys look like. Now I'm gonna make the caramel sauce. The more I'm doing this recipe, the more I'm realizing it's not so much healthy. It's claimed to be a healthier popcorn. However, popcorn, like I mentioned on its own, is already kind of healthy. We're about to do brown sugar butter, and this was fried in oil, so you tell me. We're just gonna do like a little bit. I didn't really make that many of them, so. Water. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, 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 butter. The thing with the TikTok for this is it didn't have measurements. It just said like brown sugar, water, butter. So it smells like funnel cakes in my apartment right now. So not a bad thing. Is this, what am I doing wrong? Well, it's a little sticky. Okay, maybe it's ready. Bon voyage. Yeah, get in there. Get all caramel saucy. Not gonna lie, they look pretty good. This was a lot of work though. All right, I think they're well coated. What do you guys think? All right, and we're gonna let that sit for a minute. And while that's cooling, it's time to heat up the air fryer and throw in the bananas and the carrots, and I'll see you guys for a taste test afterwards. And now, for the best part of the video, the taste test. And I tell you whether or not it's worth it to put your blood, sweat, and tears into these healthy TikTok recipes. First, 
I would like to say a formal apology to bananas everywhere. My first thoughts is that they should have been dehydrated, but I was told to put them in the air fryer, but they are not chips, no. They have like a tiny little outer crunch, but they're not. They're gonna be soft when I bite into this, and it's gonna be like my worst nightmare, eating a warm fruit. So, without further ado, here are the healthy cinnamon banana air fried chips. I don't know who I was fooling by thinking I could do this. Warm fruit just freaks me out. I cannot put it any other way. These, mm -mm, zero out of 10. They're soggy in the middle. They just taste warm, squishy banana, crunchy outer. No, it's a no for me. They should have been dehydrated. Don't be fooled. If you hate warm fruit like me, you will also be very disappointed. RIP to a good banana. Not even being overly dramatic, that was truly disgusting. Okay, moving right along. Next up, we have the healthy, healthy popcorn. Now this was quite the process. Again, it took a lot to like roll each little individual strip of rice paper. And a lot of the times when I was rolling them off camera, they snapped in half, which I predicted. And I had to make a caramel sauce that was also doused in butter after deep frying them. So healthy, mm, whatever healthy means to you. It's fine with me. Um, but. Please tell me you're kidding. Say psych right now. Say psych right now. Say psych right now, please. Um, all right, well, we're just gonna have to break them up, I guess. Let's give it a try. I mean, it has a beautiful coating. Like, we check that out. It looks very pretty, nice and shiny, like caramel would be. So here goes uh, the homemade caramel and sad looking popcorn. Mm. So, I think that's also why I don't love caramel. It just gets stuck in your teeth. Caramel popcorn at like a fair or in those giant tins around the holidays, I can eat a little bit of that. This is like too much. And also, unfortunately, I can only taste, like there's so much oil in these. When I bite down, I feel like I'm just tasting the fried oil. That is an amazing crunch though. Mm, I would give these like a four out of 10. They're pretty good. The flavor's okay, but Again, when I really bite into it, I feel like the oil is like seeping out and I'm just tasting that like fried oily taste. I would much rather have regular popcorn or caramel corn from a store. So it's also a no for me. Next up, taste testing the bagel bites. The recipe said 10 to 12 minutes. These stayed in the oven for almost 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and they barely started to brown up. They look amazing. They smell really, really good. I'm excited. They didn't have to rise though. Remember how I said, oh, I don't think they're gonna rise. I left them as balls and they just stayed. So they didn't like spread out like a cookie. They didn't have to like rise like a loaf of bread or anything. So I'm interested to see how they're gonna taste. All right, let's see if I can get a nice little like break open into this. This is quite doughy, very raw in the middle. Well, I'm gonna go for this little bit right here and I'll let you know what I think. Delicious. I think the everything but the bagel seasoning is very overpowering here. I should have just made like one plain one. I would love to make homemade pretzels with this. I also definitely think I'm gonna make um, little mini pizza bites with this as well. However, you really gotta figure out what to do when you're baking them because again, the center is quite doughy and raw still. I'm gonna go for this bite. It has a little less seasoning on it. It was pretty good. It's no New York bagel. It's nothing revolutionary. I'm not gonna stop eating bagels at bagel shops and have these now, but if I want like something quick, easy, and a little bit healthier in the morning, I would totally opt for this. I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10. Pretty good. I like them a lot. Another air fried masterpiece, carrot fries. Again, you're gonna look at me and be like, Kayla, they're burnt. Um, I did put chili powder on them, so there's a little bit of seasoning, and also I made them very thin, and I wanted them to be crunchy because I wanted them to taste the most like regular french fries, although I smell disappointment in my future. <laughs> yeah, no words. We're just gonna go for a taste test. I can already tell you they're not gonna be crunchy or crispy, so let's just get it over with. I'm gonna go for this one. It's kind of thin. It's gonna be the most crispy. Is there a crunch? Okay, yes. Glorified steamed carrot. Come on, man. Just eat a regular french fry. It's a no from me. Um, if you like steamed carrots, 
then you would love these, but if you don't, then you won't. I already knew I wasn't gonna like these though, but I really wanted to try them, give them the benefit of the doubt. No, I'm just gonna have a regular potato french fry. <laughs> so you can keep your zucchini fries, you can keep your carrot fries. Thank you so much. Last, but certainly not least, the one I'm the most excited for and I really hope that I'm not let down are the little candy rice paper sour straws. Um, they look amazing, probably pre presentation wise. These would come second to the bagel bites. Bagel bites looked beautiful. These also look beautiful. We've got my nice thick first one. And then you can see I got smaller, got a little better with my wrapping technique. We're gonna try a strawberry one. We're gonna try a blueberry one. Fingers crossed that they're good because these were really fun to make. And if I like them, I would love to keep eating them because nice little fun, healthy snack. You guys saw the process. After I put the sugar on them, I just put them in the fridge for like 10 minutes just to get them a little extra cold. I thought that they would harden just a little, but they did not. Um, so yeah, let's give it a taste test. It's very squishy. You can like really stretch it. We're just gonna go for a full bite here. Oh man, delicious. Uh-huh. I will say the rice paper texture may freak some people out. It's very gummy because it's wrapped so many times. Cause you know, when you eat a regular spring roll with like veggies in it, it's only wrapped like once or twice. This is wrapped so many times it is very gummy. I love it. I think it's delicious. I would love to do a little bit more lime juice, maybe a little bit more sugar next time just to really give it that like soury flavor. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised, very delicious. And I think next time I would even chop the strawberries a little bit more so they were smaller, but so good. Let's go for the blueberry one. I'm gonna go for that skinny blueberry one that I made that's the most like a candy straw. And let's try the blueberry one. So good. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. It really does taste like candy. I'm not kidding. It's just so weird how you can use rice paper like this. It's so stretchy, that's wild. Oh my God, you can make gummy worms if you wanted. You just cut your rice paper, make little gummy worms. These are fantastic. I even think like a pineapple one, a mango one would be amazing. I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. Delicious, kind of fun to make and not too complicated. Mm, so good. Thanks again for joining me for another healthy TikTok snack video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.